Mpoh Sono is well known to TV. She was once a soap opera star and has also been here with us before on It's My Biz. Mpoh is now a rising star in the cleaning industry with her successful venture, TMT Cleaning. We caught up with Mpo to see what advice she has for Nati about establishing trust and building good relationships with clients. Well, for TMT, the thing that uh, set us apart from the rest of the clan was that um, we built strong relationships with our suppliers, we uh, built strong relationships with our clients, and therefore we meet on, with them re on a regular basis to make sure that the relationship is maintained. Well, for Renati, I think it's, it's so important for her to build the relationships uh, that she has, particularly because she's doing residential cleaning. Uh, she'll have to build the relationship with the residential owners. I did struggle with debtors, but what you, uh, Nati needs to do is um, focus on you know, creating that relationship that they understand that her cash flow depends on them paying on time and putting systems in place that say, look, um, if you pay uh, this invoice within 30 days, um, you get an extra perk and she can decide what that could be and that could be an incentive for the client. When you go out on your own and start a business, it's very important to get support behind you. Nedbank is helping make things happen for small business by promoting a number of different platforms that support the small business owner. Where would we be without small business? Small business is important for the success of the economy. A successful economy means a prosperous community. So in addition to our core banking suite of products, NetBank has also brought a number of platforms for entrepreneurs. NetBank's own reality program, It's My Biz, brings entrepreneurs face to face with a panel of experts that diagnoses their businesses and brings in practical guidance and advice on how to improve the competitiveness and ultimately the success of those small businesses. We have our Simply Biz initiative, which helps to connect entrepreneurs online for advice, for content, to support your business and to make sure that you are successful as an entrepreneur. NetBank's free business seminars, which are held across the country, also ensure that we bring business advisors and specialists into contact with entrepreneurs, offer practical advice that entrepreneurs can then take back and implement back in their businesses. By partnering with entrepreneurs, thought leaders, industry experts, and bringing interventions into the small business sector, we believe that we are indeed making things happen for entrepreneurs and investing for a greater South Africa. And here's another way Nedbank supports small business. Get your business off to a great start with the big prize for small business from Nedbank. Get free banking for two years with your Nedbank business account, plus an incredible Samsung business package with 65,000 Rand. The revamp of your brand image and corporate identity to the value of 30,000 Rand. And financial, admin, and legal consultation with our business expert, Dane Nimant. Register on simplybiz.co.za to enter now, and you can make big things happen for your small business. T's and C's apply. She has purpose, passion, and brain power. By managing her debtors, looking at her pricing model, and creating that mop and shop magic, Unati will be well on her way to creating a powerful brand and a profitable business. Mike commended Unati for her thorough staff application process and said that she should share this with clients. He also suggested other ways of gaining client confidence. Make sure that all your vehicles are branded. So when the people arrive, there's the branding. They see exactly where they're coming from. Another thing that I think you should do is get ID badges for your staff with photographs on them and dates of expiry, 60 days maximum. Now when they walk in, I know where they're from. I know they've been vetted. I know what's going on. Sane thought that trust should work both ways and that Unati could apply sterner methods in dealing with debtors. Mike said that another way of addressing cash flow is to market and sell more and suggested Unati use YouTube to market her business. Sell more services. That's what it's about. Come up with some small YouTube videos, small little 90 second clips, uh, how to clean a stain off a carpet, how to keep my cupboard smelling fresh, bit of an intro from you, bit of a finish off. I'm sure you'll find those things going viral, a lot of interest, a lot more business for you. Mike said that word of mouth is a powerful way to market a business, so what Unati needs to do is give people something to talk about. 
I come home, you've just cleaned my home, I look on the door and there's one of those door hangers and it tells me, first of all, thank you, and secondly, these are the things you're out of, these are the things you need to buy before we come next time. Then I go upstairs to my bedroom and there's a small little mint or, or a, or a ch chocolate, a brand of chocolate on the pillow. Something, when I phone my friends, I'm going to say, you won't believe it, this is what happened when I had my house cleaned. Thane thought that Unati could increase her prices and emphasize the value she offers. Thane warned, however, that customers don't like being caught unawares when it comes to price increases. It's good to have regular annual increases rather than every week a little increase here, maybe a little increase next month. So we need to get that increases um, strategy in place. Thane thought there were also other methods Unati could use to increase her profitability. You have a promotion where you can offer the client, we will make your meal today for an extra 100 rand, but it's only costing you 50 rand. Running a small business is about making a difference, creating those moments of magic that are hard to forget. Next on It's My Biz, we meet the fixer. After spending 20 years fixing the systems and processes of large businesses in crisis, she invested her knowledge and experience in developing her own range of accounting and business management templates for the small business owner. What inspired her? What are her hopes for the future? Find out on the next episode of It's My Biz, Thursday at 5.30pm on E!